Remember how we said, and we even had this on the video earlier about the, with the graphing calculator. If I have x to the 1 over n, that means the nth root of x. The other guy that we saw as well was if my numerator was not 1, but it was something, another, it was a power. This is the nth root of x to the m, or you could say this is the nth root of x raised <coughs> to the m power. Either way, is, it's going to be the same, but what you need to understand is that this guy is usually the better option. So do it that way. Do the do the uh, radical first before you apply the power because most times, not all the time, but most times when you apply a power the numbers get bigger. So don't make something bigger just to make it smaller. Go small before you go big. Uh, here's what I mean by that. Now the example that we saw earlier today was we had 32 to the 1 -fifth power which meant the fifth root of 32. That's how we got meaning for that. And we said that the fifth root of 32 was what? We said that was 2. No big deal. <coughs> so what if I say 81 to the 3 halves power? What's the best way of looking at this? What's the radical? Well, first, what's the radical? So that means I'm talking about the square root of 81, and I raise that to the third power. Okay. So I think it's better to do it this way because do you know the square root of 81? No. You you know that. But what if I had it as that guy? Do you know what 81 to the third power is? No. No. It's it's kind of gross. So let's not, let's not do that. Instead, I'm going to worry about this guy. So the square root of 81 is 9. And then what's 9 to the third? 729. So if you have your list of powers, it's pretty easy to work that out. Now, <coughs> if you have your graph and calculator, you can also check it. So if I do 81 raised to the, make sure you do your parentheses, 3 halves power, I get 729. Verify, right? OK. Let's keep going with these. If I have negative. 32 raised to the 6 fifths power. Now, even though I use the calculator, I was just checking my work. I don't want you to do, I don't want you to use the calculator to do your work. You have to be strong without it. How can I rewrite this guy so that I can work it? It's a fifth third. Do you remember my little jingle for remembering what the index is? No, why don't you remind us? <laughs> remember, the denominator of the power is the index of the radical. That's Isn't that a neat a jingle? That's not a, yeah, it was. That was, that was a statement. Yeah. And the melody of that. It's false advertisement. <laughs> where, are you go, where are you going with it? The denominator, it's the index. The denominator, it's the index. <laughs> there you go. That's a hard. The denominator, it's the index. The denominator, it's the <laughs> index. So my denominator of that power is 5, which means that's the index of my radical. So what's the fifth root of negative 2? Come on now, tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy's pretty simple. It's negative 2 raised to the sixth. You know what? Let's let's <laughs> let's stop and think about this. Don't go to your calculator. I see you. I was actually waiting for you to finish the jingle. It sounded like there was something after. Nah, I get. I get. <coughs> you know, it, really? Yeah, I I, I I quit. I didn't go to. You know what two to the fifth is, right? 
What's two to the fifth? Thirty-two. So if you've got five, if you've got five factors of two, <laughs> that's thirty-two. I need one more factor of two to get to six of them, right? Mm -hmm. So thirty-two times two is sixty-four. Soixante-quatre. I'm sorry. Sixty-four. Positive or negative? Because I got the negative here. Si, positivo. Sixty-four. Es todo. No más. Por adentas. No. Uno más. Ejemplo. It looks like you really, really struggle with Spanish. It's a lot of things you're making that sense. Understand again. Like I said, it has been. How many years? <coughs> You remember when, uh, never mind. <laughs> 1,000, what are you, no, 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 get your hands off your calculator. You should be ashamed. Absolutely. <laughs> Not worried about it. Never be ashamed. This means the 10th root of 1,024 and then raise it to the third power. Of course, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you know that 1,024 is a super cool number because 1,024 comes from, get check it, <laughs> <laughs> 2 to the 10th is 1,024. That's why it's so awesome. Right? Yeah. Don't give me that look. Is that why you chose it? Yes, because it's an awesome number. I thought it was your birthday. <laughs> no, my birthday is not October 24th, although if you want to give me presents then, as in addition to my... 10th? My birthday? Uh, you were getting excited. <laughs> no, because this <laughs> because in compu in the computer world, it's based on the binary numbering system. So there's no n see we have nice decimals: ten, one hundred, one thousand, and so on. But since you're dealing with powers of ten, the closest thing that you have connecting the powers of two to powers of ten is two to the tenth. This guy is we round a thousand twenty-four to say a thousand. So if you see one thousand, or you see Excuse me, if you see one kilobyte, that's not necessarily 1,000 bytes. It's 1,024 bytes, because it's based on the binary numbering system. <laughs> that's why it's awesome. <laughs> <coughs> Think about all your flash drives. Eight gigs, 16 gigs, 32 gigs, it's all powers of two. Even back in the old days, you know, I just got some of those 512 meg flash drive. Yeah, that's 2 to the ninth. Awesome. So this is 2 to the third, which <coughs> equals 8. It is awesome. 